Hey ladies and gents, BQ here once again. Thanks for swinging by the channel as always. Some of you may have clicked this link because you're trying to get in on some of that Global Force Gold, trying to get yourself some carrot bars, but no, that's not what this is. I'm turning a negative into a positive with this new segment here, and I'm calling it Global Force Gold. I'm gonna be doing this segment, I'm gonna say probably every week. It just kind of depends on what I think of impact. And with Global Force Gold, I'm going to be talking about my favorite part of the show. My favorite segment. It's most likely going to be a segment, something backstage or something um, storyline related. Probably not going to be a match. But the one thing I want to talk about this week from last week's episode of Impact, and I almost wanted to do the uh, backstage segment with Eli Drake and, and Jim Cornette because I found it to be hilarious. But what I do want to talk about instead is the very opening segment of the show with America's top team, Lashley, uh, Jeff Jarrett, and James Storm. So before I get into it, here's a clip. I'm not going to play the entire thing, but here is a clip of that segment. Hey, dude, hey, that's his side. Come on, guys. Wait, wait, that's his side. So yeah, that was good stuff. I enjoyed that thoroughly. And I think what I really like about it is that, you know, we're far removed from the Attitude Era. You know, the, the most edgiest time in professional wrestling. We're far removed from that. And, you know, for the most part, wrestling is, is fairly PG. There's no cursing. Uh, there's The name calling that they do use is, is very non-offensive. And we're talking about an industry where... You know, it's simulated fighting, but it's an industry where you have opponents who are engaged in, in blood feuds and, the, you know, the, the insults and the name calling and everything they do, it's just so, it, it's childish. Like my baby mama calls me worse names than what someone in a wrestling promotion involved in a blood feud would say to each other. So the whole son of a bitch so the word the the one word that's always worked on wrestling was bitch or son of a bitch and that word has worn out its welcome so much you know uh when you we try to get a pop from the crowd there's nothing nothing like a cheap pop was saying bitch or you know son of a bitch which is not used as much but it's it's mainly calling someone a bitch because that's the only word people seem to be able to get away from get away with 